Good evening, I am Richard Swenson, the Marketing and Retail Manager for North Star Fireworks in East Montpelier, Vermont. Welcome to Episode 11 of the North Star Summer Pyro Series. This week we continue the countdown to the 4th of July and want to share the fireworks available to you, as well as discuss the safety and laws around fireworks. We will continue to answer questions that have come in, as well as provide prizes in a raffle giveaway at the end of the show. Welcome back and we hope that you enjoy this week's episode of the North Star Summer Pyro Series. Welcome to Photos of the Week. Each week we choose photos or videos to share that were submitted by viewers and followers on our social media pages like yourself. If you submit a question or photo to be shared, you are automatically entered into the drawing to win the grand prize, the $1,000 fireworks family package. This week, we will share a photo submitted by Mike Paul. Mike visited our East Montpelier store and loaded up for his 4th of July celebration. Check this out. Next, we share a video from Alan Willett, who, who you've seen before. Here, Alan shares a video from the Williamstown Senior 2020 Senior Graduation Class over the weekend. Thank you all for your submissions. We look forward to seeing more of your photos showing how fireworks make your events and celebrations extra special. Remember, the more photos and questions you submit, the greater chance you have to win the end of the summer grand prize, the $1,000 fireworks family pack. Our guest this week is a member of the American Pyrotechnics Association who is going to share some safety tips, tips on choosing the proper location to shoot off your fireworks. Let us hear from Julie Heckman, Executive Director of the American Pyrotechnics Association. Hi, I'm Julie Heckman, Executive Director of the American Pyrotechnics Association, and today we're discussing firework safety. Now I'm going to show you how to choose the proper area to use your backyard fireworks. If you're blessed with a big back beautiful yard like this one, um, there's a few things you need to know. Right now, this backyard's not proper for using fireworks. Take a look at the grass. They haven't had much rainfall here, and the grass is very dry and brittle. This is a very poor environment for using fireworks since they are designed to burn. Another factor you have to keep in mind is whether you have dry shrubs, if you have any um, low-hanging tree limbs, or even if you have power lines overhead. One more factor to analyze, do you have household combustibles nearby? Here's a propane tank. This does not mix well with fireworks, so that's just one more reason why I wouldn't recommend this backyard. And we're not done yet. Stability is very important. You need to use your fireworks on a flat level surface. Again, when we look at this grass, it's not very flat and it's not very level. And in fact, it would be a risky venue to choose to use fireworks because it would put your spectators in risk. Now, assume this backyard was beautiful green, had been blessed with lots of rain during the past month, and you wanted to use your fireworks here, my primary recommendation would be to put down a sturdy piece of plywood to level out the area so that when you fire these devices, they'll remain stable and um, keep your spectators safe. Now, like I mentioned, this backyard isn't appropriate because of the dry conditions and the dry grass and the lack of stability. But if you follow me, I'm gonna take you to an area that will be good. Now I'm going to explain to you why this is a much better place to use your fireworks. For example, any driveway, cul-de-sac, or nice neighborly street provide an excellent venue for discharging fireworks. We've got plenty of open, flat level surface. So when we place our items on the ground, we've eliminated the risk of tip over. We've also been able to avoid all that dry grass and the shrubs. 
In addition, we don't have to worry about power lines here. We've got plenty of open space, which also lets us consider where we can put our spectators. Thanks, Julie, for sharing these safety tips with our consumer fireworks communities. Remember, if you want to be on the North Star Summer Pyro Series, reach out and submit a three to six minute video. You can be a pyrotechnician with North Star. You can also be a customer of North Star who wants to share a safety tip or experience you have had with North Star Fireworks with your displays or backyard events. For this week's topic of the week, we are continuing to count down to the 4th of July. Independence Day celebrations. We want to share with you some of the safety tips that we have covered in previous episodes, as well as touch base on the laws and regulations around fireworks in the state of Vermont. Fireworks safety and care is always the number one priority when we are doing a professional display or providing you the best quality fireworks consumers can purchase. However, Safety begins with you, and the way you use fireworks begins with you. Before purchasing fireworks, determine what kind of celebration you want to have. Do you want to go big with a lot of brilliant lights and sounds in your backyard display? Or do you want to have a more low-key event where you are simply having a smaller gathering and celebrating with sparkling but smaller scale fireworks? that don't output those big booms. If you're not sure, come into our retail stores and talk with one of our knowledgeable staff members and they can help generate some questions to get you thinking about the type of displays you want. When thinking of your backyard displays, consider what Julie from the American Pyrotechnics Association said above about choosing the proper location. If you have a small backyard in a city or downtown location, then maybe a large scale backyard display is not the best idea. However, if you have a private backyard with lots of space, then you may be able to go all out and show that a true pyro you are. Either way though, loading up on fireworks tailored to your type of event you are holding will certainly make you the backyard hero this 4th of July. We can make that happen. Regardless of the size of fireworks and your decision on where you want to shoot them, you will want to consider your surroundings, neighbors, city limits, your furry pets, your children, and state laws and regulations. Always have safety in mind for yourself and others. Speaking in, of being mindful of your surroundings and neighbors, let's talk about laws and regulations. We want to address how the laws work in the state of Vermont. To discharge consumer fireworks in the state of Vermont, it is the law that you have to obtain a permit. A permit is not just for the community municipality displays. Permits are required by the state to discharge any fireworks. Purchasing fireworks, however, is legal in Vermont. You can purchase fireworks ranging from novelties to repeater cakes, maximum of 500 grams of black powder, or 60 grams of black powder in a single mortar shell. We talked about this in our previous episodes. The best part about purchasing fireworks is that you do not need to have a permit at the time of your fireworks purchase. You can buy all the fireworks you want in any of our stores and go from there. North Star Fireworks welcomes all pyros into our retail showrooms and want you to have all the fun in the world celebrating with fireworks. In fact, we highly encourage it, especially this year after COVID-19 we could all use a show of those brilliant lights and sounds. We do, however, want you to be respectful of laws. They are there to keep you safe and others safe. Be mindful of your neighbors shooting fireworks late at night in a neighborhood or within city limits. 
may not be the best idea. Find safe spots away from neighbors, pets, cities, or downtown areas. Your neighbors and law enforcement, law enforcement will certainly appreciate this, and let's face it, nothing stops the party faster than the police showing up and shutting down your festivities. In the end, we want you all to be safe and enjoy your family and friends this 4th of July. North Star Fire, Fireworks will be right here celebrating with you, right from the beginning to the end. 4th of July is just under two weeks away. That's only 11 days. It's certainly going to be one we all remember. Next week is the 4th of July. Next week is the 4th of July week in episode 12 of the North Star Summer Pyro Series. We are going to try and make it a special one, so you'll want to tune in. We'll answer any questions that we receive from now till then. Remember, if you need assistance with your display, come in and talk to one of our knowledgeable, knowledgeable retail associates, and they can help pick up the right fireworks for your backyard fun. You are the pyro after all. Why not show it off to your friends and family and create memories they won't forget? Be the true backyard hero of your 4th of July. Let us jump into this week's questions that were sent over by you, the viewers. What is the best and safest way to light fireworks? Well, fireworks are best when set off at dark. They are designed to provide the brightest flashes of color throughout the sky with various effects of sparkles, crackles, and booms. The safest way to light fireworks is by using road flares, Blow torches, windproof lighters, or lighters with a lengthy handle are all recommended. We do not recommend trying to light fireworks with cigarettes, cigarette lighters, candles, and other sources that may blow out or cause harm. You want to be around to enjoy those bright lights in the sky, so sky you work so hard to plan for and purchase. So make sure you are lighting them all safely. Our second question is, is it safe to peel the paper off the top of the repeater cakes? Answer is yes, it is very safe. The fireworks are not defective if there is a rip in the paper on top of the box. Have you ever noticed all the paper debris on the ground after display? Well, a helpful tip is to rip, a helpful tip is to rip off the paper on the top of the box before you light the fireworks so that the paper isn't blown out and around when fireworks go off. This will save you some time in the end, and let's face it, no one wants to spend time cleaning that up later. We continue to look forward to the questions you send each week. Do you have that burning question about fireworks? Go ahead and click in the comments section right now and send us your fireworks. Questions. We will answer them in next week's episode, and also remember that submitting a question enters you in to win the North Star Summer Fireworks Prizes. Speaking of weekly prizes, each week North Star wants to thank our fellow pyros who light up the skies with their fireworks. We love to see your personal shows, as well as the ones you've attended. A, as a special thanks for participating in our Summer Pyro series by submitting photos, videos, or questions, you are eligible to win North Star Fireworks prizes in this raffle. We do this each episode, so please continue to submit your photos, videos, or questions. If your name is picked, North Star Fireworks will reach out to you via Facebook Messenger to get your information so we can send you North Star Fireworks gift. If your gift is a fireworks item, we will arrange to meet you at one of our two locations to get that to you. So let's begin with this week's drawing.
This week's winner is Mike Paul. Mike Paul, you are this week's winner. Thank you, Mike, and all those who participated. Remember to submit your questions, videos, and photos, and you will be entered into this drawing each week. We know that you are all anxious to get out and enjoy a fireworks display come July 4th. If you do, remember to practice social distancing. Enjoy premier fireworks displays when you are at a drive-in style show or in your own backyard. We want to make sure that your July 4th is a blast. Thank you for joining us on this week's North Star Summer Pyro Series. Congratulations again to our prize winner, Mike. And we want to remind you that both our East Montpelier and St. Johnsbury stores are now open daily from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. for walk-ins. So come on in. We encourage everyone to wear masks for both your safety and other safety. Our online store is also still available for your convenience at NorthStarFireworks.com where you can enjoy shopping for your fireworks from the comfort of your own home. Again, our two locations are open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. now through July 4th daily. Thank you for joining us on this week's North Star Fireworks Summer Pyro Series. We'll be back next week at 7 p.m. with episode 12 as we continue the countdown to the 4th of July. It will be a great 4th of July this year. Remember, fireworks can add that something extra to your event as long as you're being safe. See you next week, Pyros.